Okay, okay, everyone, it is time for the last reveal for the last VR of the set. And that is Gavriel. So I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. Let's take a look at the Angel Feather cards that got released. So uh, first one is Blap Map Black Mapping Salafiel. So we've seen this card before. Uh, Can't regard circle during your turn. If a new card was put into your damage zone this turn, this unit gets power 10k. And then auto Vanguard or regard circle when placed. You may soul blast one and heal a card from your damage zone. If you healed, deal one damage to your Vanguard. This ability is a hard once per turn. So gives you power to just beat stuff i guess 19k boosted 20 20 27 hits numbers so that's nice um hard once per turn it uses just one soul so it doesn't use any counter blast thing is i think so far we've seen a lot of angel feather cards use a lot of soul and also a lot of angel feather cards are once per turn so there's a big restriction there but seems nice seems nice uh next card we have is black observe hamiel now this one is kind of Surprising, we didn't expect a grade three. Uh, so auto Vanguard Circle, Regard Circle, when placed, if you have a Vanguard with black in its card name, <laughs> um, so you may counter blast one call card from your damage zone to Regard Circle, deal one damage to your Vanguard. This ability may only be used by a card with the same card name once per turn. Again, so hard once per turn. Um, the black card name, <laughs> It's not any any black card. You have to. Uh, it's actually got specific kanji for that. So I don't know how they're actually going to translate that into uh, into English, but <laughs> sure. Um, and then second effect is when it attacks, counter blast three until the end of that battle. It, this unit gets plus 15k and a critical, and your opponent cannot call sentinels from his hand uh, from his or her hand to the guardian circle at the end of the turn. Put this unit into your soul, so it fills up your soul. Uh, Counter Blast 3 is pretty heavy, but a lot of, again, lots of ways to damage check, like rescue check in standard Angel Feathers, so maybe it's like not that bad. The Counter Blast 3 is just there, so you can't maybe use it two times in Battle Phase, but there's like hardly any restriction on this at all, so no Grade 3 restriction, no two Grade 3s in the Soul restriction, so uh, like a fast hospital, kind of, kind of, right? So interesting, this is interesting, uh, the, the first effect does add some more damage checks in in the uh in just when it comes into play so it could be interesting but it's got a counter blast one it's a hard one's per turn and then lastly we have gabriel now gabriel uh black shiver gabriel during your turn if a total of three or more new cards were put into any player's damage on this turn all your front row units get power 10k and then second effect is act once per turn you may counter blast one and soul blast one return a card from your damage zone to your hand the card from your damage zone to the bottom of your deck and deal this unit two damage. So it's basically dealing two drive checks. Now, this text box is pretty small. So <laughs> where's the uh where's the five attacks, man? <laughs> so so far, this is getting four drive checks by itself, in a way. Uh Sano gets four on its first drive, and then gets five drive checks on its uh on sub subsequent turns. Um, I guess you could say that there's a lot of rescue checks in Angel Feathers, so you can get more than four drive checks. But uh, yeah, where's the uh, where's the five attacks, man? <laughs> That's uh, I, I think to me this feels a, a bit disappointing. It's like an act as well and a con. So in premium, I don't really see this used much at all. So. Uh, mm, Gabriel, slightly disappointing. I, I have to say, slightly disappointing. I don't like. Sure, you can get a lot of drive checks, but the, the the fact of the matter is, you only get three attacks. Maybe they get more. There's, I think, there's still some cards unreleased, and sure, one that other grade three goes to soul, so it creates empty slots. So maybe you can get like a fourth attack off with whatever card they haven't released. But so far, Gabriel with three attacks is very underwhelming compared to like No Seal, where you can get more attacks but sure i think no seals slightly less consistent so uh there's that too so overall gabriel mm, mm, out of all the g's i'm sorry mate but gabriel is not that interesting to me now let's move on they, they, they announced reprints this is the big thing that they've been talking about clan selection reprints they, they've announced what they're going to reprint and uh wh they showed you some they showed us some cards and what will come out so let's get into that so here we go we've got the first three prints, we've got Angel Feathers, Gold Paladin, Shadow Paladin, and Tachikaze from Clan Selection 1. Um, 
The Angel Feather PR gets reprinted here. That's nice. Uh, Gold Patlin just gets shafted, I think. None of these cards anyone cares about. So, uh, yeah. Sorry to all the Gold Paladin fans. Um, we expected the Claret PR here, but no. No, it's they gave us Dead Armor Dragon, which I don't really agree. I think it's kind of jank. Um, and then for Tachikaze, I think uh, this is fine. Uh, this over, but yeah, I don't know. It's not. It's not. It's not as good as I want it to be. Like they, they reprinted the main again. Uh, they reprinted Charon. Sure, those are some great cards. But yeah, as I said, Gold Paladin, absolute jank. These Mal Malkaleth cards, kind of like mm, sure, but I don't think we go. We don't use any cards more like back than that, I guess. And then, yeah, I guess Tachikaze kind of likes these cards. Uh, second set of reprints, we have Murakumo. So the PI gets printed. Very nice. Very nice. Um, then the Shiruki engine gets reprinted. So, okay. Uh, I, I guess, like, some of these... Let, let's just go back here. Some of these cards, um, they weren't in Triple R before. So, so Dindrain in Triple R might be really nice. Um, Dead Armor in Triple R would be nice as well. Uh, but So, yeah, some of these cards, like these Shiruki stuff in Triple R would be look very nice. Um... They, re they reprint two PRs for Link Joker, so this is the one that we haven't seen yet, but the, uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. They're reprinting Vermilion, but I, I, I guess we're getting the blood in this set, so that makes sense. This is probably, like, the billionth reprint of Phoenix, so I don't really think we needed that. Dark Irregulars gets a Emblem Master reprint. Um, Killer Tail comes in Triple R, I guess, so that's good. And we get the PR for Dark Irregulars as well, so that's pretty decent, I think. This is a very important PR. So basically, shut down Huang plays, okay? And then the last set we get is Gear Chronicle. So this, basically, Gear Chronicle is everything you wanted, <laughs> all right? You know, Urcab, Ur bam. Uh, Tigard, bam. Ribble, the, the new the new uh, PR that just makes Chrono Jet Tier 1, perfect, right? Uh, for Grand Blue, I don't know, man. There's no, there's some PRs in Grand Blue that some people really want, like, I think Samurai Spirit is one we haven't gotten. I know some people are very solemn about getting that, that PR. They really want it, but they don't get it. So maybe they'll release more. We get the PR for uh, for Neo Nectar. So I guess it's not. Like they're reprinting Fruit Basket Elf. So that's uh, hmm, that's that's strange. Who uses Fruit Basket Elf anymore, right? Uh, for Mega Colonies, these two are kind of staples. Like you always want the Mantis. Um, the Counter Charger is nice. I heard Stealth Millipede is like $60, so getting a reprint for that is really good, um, but otherwise, who cares about Mega Quality? <laughs> Alright, so moving on to cards that they're releasing. Arts. They're just showing us arts. Um, so Angel Feather gets a new Mal... 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 I don't know how to say that name. So it's similar to the new Batama, like what Shin got. Uh, he's getting like a new uh, Hanzo, so this is like the, the new new Angel Feather stuff. So maybe we, we can get like, we're expecting something similar for like, Genesis as well? Um, oh wait, no. Does, uh, he doesn't, uh, Shin doesn't use Hanzo, right? I was mixing up with old Shin, who was using ninjas, but I think new, yeah, new one is Genesis, man. So, yeah, maybe we expect like a new version, another new version of Uranus. Uh, we got a new Shiryuki, alright? Pretty cool, Shiriki. Now, that kind of explains why they reprinted the uh, the, the Shiriki engine, I guess, because it fits this pretty well. Uh, Gear Chronicle gets an interesting card. It's called Time Leaper Dragon. <laughs> so it's as blatant as it gets. It's a it's a dragon that time leaps. All right. Uh, second set we get is uh, Neo Nectar gets Maiden of Stan Peony, which is whatever. All right, just. But the, I think the, the, the real one people really care about is Gold Paladin gets Spectral Duke Dragon. This guy is back. Uh, he's been to the gym, it looks like. I don't know. He looks kind of fat. Maybe maybe he was stuck at home and uh, he's just been, I don't know, eating, eating too many regards. And now he's like a, it's like a chunky boy. All right. And we get a toy for Tachikaze. <laughs> we get... Uh, you get you got a blazer like dude. This is like an RC it's like those dodgy RC cars but They've attached like a Tyrannosaurus Rex head on it. So <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's cool um, And yeah last set we have uh, Mega colony they get venom stinger. This is like When I saw this is like this is like a guy common rider guy. He's stuck in the desert uh, he's got the Oasis. I don't know what he's doing, dude. This is a weird art. 
Um, Dark Irregulars, we get Gastille, he's back. So, pretty cool. Uh, wonder what he will do. And then lastly, we have Fiana, so Shadow Paladin Witches. This is, this is... I guess, like, she's kind of like, she had a really unique effect back then. I don't know how that will translate to Clan Selection, but hopefully it'll be good. So, now we basically know what each clan is going to get in Clan Selection 1. So, we kind of plan for that. Now, this kind of raises some interesting... I know... I know some people were talking a lot about clan selection and how this fits in with overdress, whether rotation is happening, because why would I want to buy clan selection when, if there is going to be a rotation, right? And we, like, still, we don't know if there's rotation. This, having clan selection kind of applies that maybe there is no rotation, because what's the point in us buying this if things are going to rotate out, right? But I guess... Rotation can still happen. It just doesn't have to be like a V rotation where they reboot everything. They could technically do a soft rotation like Pokemon and Magic. Because if we look at some of these reprints, right? Some of these re like some of these reprints are pretty generic. And if they go for pure generic stuff, does that mean if we get this clan selection stuff, we have like a base set of each card that we can use if something rotates? Alright, so if you look at the, like, the Shadow Paladin stuff is kind of interesting, right? Because we expected them to print, reprint the Claret Sword promo, because, uh, that basically makes the entire deck work. But instead we got Dead Armor Dragon as our reprint. Uh, we still got the Mame, which is a great staple card. Charon, another great staple card. Even the Gold Palace of all of these cards are relatively generic, but, like, Hoel and Kaiden work together to build, a like, they... they they, they support, I guess they're kind of like flavor for Spectral Dude, but at the same time, they don't really require other cards apart from each other. And Dindrain is just a very normal card. Um, the uh, the Angel Feather Damage Swapper, hard once per turn. It's similar to the old Damage Swappers, but, you know, at least you have one if you were to soft rotate the old stuff out. You still have a Damage Swapper without really printing anything out. Um, and then these these gray two touchy, well these cut touchy cards are very generic and just very good cards overall. Like just just going through some of these reprints, like Phoenix, kind of a staple card. These these are uh, emblem masters, kind of staple cards, right? So Shiryuki, kind of staple cards for this new Murakumo. If they were to rotate out old Murakumo, um, this basically makes a Shiryuki engine deck work. So there, if they wanted to rotate, then there I think there's some decent possibility. Of there being a soft rotation. Uh, even even reprinting like Ripple and, and Cigar means that if they were to do a soft rotation, maybe they don't they're rotating like the, the next stage stuff. You know? So if we get this, then we can still play next stage. And then um, with the new stuff, with the new sets and new overdress cards coming out, they, they rotate the old stuff, old Lost Legend stuff, but at least you still have a deck that you can play with this, right? So I don't know. That's just random speculation. Um, should be interesting. I mean, like, they wouldn't really print a set, like, like this kind of set, and then just go, sorry, dude, you can't use it, right? So, maybe, maybe this hints at something different. But don't, don't take it from me. I don't know anything. I'm just a random guy on YouTube, um, and that plays card games. So, <laughs> that's just my speculation. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, but yeah, this is a, this, so far, client selection seems okay. I wanted some different PRs, but I guess if we look at it from that end, then sure, there's another other things to consider. Let me know also what you think of Gavriel. Um, if you if you're a Gavriel gang or are you a uh, No Seal gang, all right? Or are you just No gang, all right? You're just Gurg gang, okay? But yeah, that's it from me, guys. Pretty good stream. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.